Okay, hello everyone. Uh, so welcome to the quantum fields, geometry, and representation theory program. Um, so I won't take too much of the time, but I'll just say a few words about why we organized this program. The idea was to get uh, physicists, mathematicians working on problems of uh, mutual interest, uh, also people at different stages of their career, uh, professors, postdocs, students, uh, in one place so that people can discuss uh, and think of new problems uh, and so on. Uh, so we have uh, particularly tried an effort, uh, tried to make an effort to uh, make the talks longer, and we also have like longish breaks. So feel free to ask questions, especially students. Uh, you don't have to feel intimidated. Um, feel free to stop uh, the speakers and ask questions at any time. Uh, and uh, so any other logistical questions, if you have them, please uh, write to me or to the uh, program email ID. Uh, yeah, there should be Wi-Fi everywhere, and uh, yeah, I think that's uh, all the logistics I want to share with you. So we begin the program with a talk by uh, Masahiko Saito from Kobe University. He'll uh, talk to us about modelized spatials of parabolic connections, parabolic bundles, and geometric languages. Can I use also? Yeah, no, uh, the microphone can I use? Uh, yeah. It's the, uh, can you hear? OK, OK. Thank you. Oh, so it is my great pleasure to give me a talk here. And I'm very, I'm, I'm really, uh, thank, I really thank the organizers to, to give me a chance to hear. And I feel uh, oh, much cooler than uh, Japan. I expected the uh, hotter weather here, <laughs> but uh, the in 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 the in my area, the Japanese Japan area, they it's like uh, 38 degree now. That it's very cooler, much cooler than now. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, today I, I'd like to give her uh, our, our some ideas about the module spaces, part of a connection, and the parabolic bundles, and also its relation to the geometry rank lands. And uh, uh, this lecture will be followed by the uh, Professor uh, Inaba's talk. Uh, he will give a talk about the uh, Riemann Hilbert correspondence and also the uh, Pandre Bay equation, differential equation. And also, that uh, the, these uh, things are quite related to the uh, uh, mathematical physics, but uh, uh, today I will uh, concentrate on the mathematical side. Okay. If you have any question, please uh, ask me. Okay, so let me start with the uh, setting. So there are today, uh, C is a uh, uh, non-singular projective curve of genus G. Uh, and genus is, uh, our, uh, as usual, the uh, number of the holes of this type. And uh, today, uh, simplicity, uh, that the uh, board T, which is a set of any distinct point on C, and uh, which is uh, or just a uh, uh, distinct distinct end points, and the DT is a divider associated to the or uh, these points. And uh, if you are interested in the more singular case, like uh, our the irregular singularity case. Uh, you, you may allow some multiplicity be, be, uh, here, but uh, today, uh, for the simplicity, I will give uh, just a simple cases. And uh, the set of the two C singular cur uh, no, uh, uh, curve and the point on it uh, uh, home the, uh, the module space of the uh, ordered any point of curve of genus G, which is known as our KSI projective variety of the dimension uh, 3G minus 3 plus N. Okay. And uh, I'd like to consider the uh, lambda, connect, lambda connection. And the lambda is uh, some uh, complex numbers. And uh, I will give a definition. So E number is called a uh, lambda connection. If E is an algebraic vector bundle on C of rank R and uh, of degree D, so this is just a vector bundle on the compact curve C, and uh, which should be our algebraic in our by Gaga, and uh, our rank R and of the degree T. So Nabra is our 
uh, map from the uh, E to the E tensor with omega, omega C of dt. So omega C, C of dt is the sheaf of the uh, Malmark one, one home on C, whose pole is at the most uh, dt. So because I, uh, I assume that this is a simple pole, so this is a, uh, this is a, a C of the uh, one home, Melamic one home, uh, which whose pole at the most uh, order one at the t, t i. So the, this is a map from the vector band e to the e tensor to make C d t, and uh, this is a logarithmic equation, uh, lambda correction, uh, which is uh, which satisfies the following. So a is a local homework function, and the sigma is a local uh, section of the vector band e. So if you are Take our a number of sigma, uh, which is also the uh, section of E, local section of E. So if you uh, apply the number, you have uh, uh, lambda sigma tensors with dA plus a number of sigma. So if lambda is one, uh, this is uh, usual or uh, Leibniz rule. And uh, if lambda equals zero, that means uh, our lambda is uh, all linear. So that is a Higgs bundle, Higgs field. So uh, this lambda connection can uh, connect the both the connection and the uh, Higgs bundle. Okay, and uh, so this uh, uh, vector bundle, uh, which is uh, line bundles on C omega one C d t. So this is uh, because this is very important. I uh, take this uh, is uh, we denote by this is L. So L is uh, our line bundle on C, whose degree is uh, 2G minus 2 plus N. We always assume that N is greater than 1 or equal to 1. Uh, so uh, we only have at least one <laughs> single point. So uh, if lambda is non-zero, so this is a linear connection. So this is if we enumerate the lambda connection, E and one over lambda and abra is a usual connection. So uh, since uh, this has a, a pole that a ti, I uh, take some local frame at E near t, t equal ti, uh, it, it can be uh, trivialized near the ti and uh, as a uh, uh, Lankar uh, free, free vectors, uh, free bundles. And uh, the number can be written by the sum uh, the matrix value, the uh, one home with uh, the uh, singularities like this. And uh, A is determined as a, uh, like this. So, uh, so, so sorry. A, A, is, A is a holomorphic uh, rank R, R by R matrixes near TI. And we have uh, at the most one, or the one port here. So, Lambda can be written like this. So this is our derivation. And this is our endomorphism part. And if lambda is zero, or we have uh, this part is dropped, and uh, uh, this is like this. And then, uh, as usual, uh, we can define the residue part of the number at the ti. So that's just to take our d equal ti, it gives you the some R, R by R matrices, and also here also R by R matrices, and that is uh, uh, is our residue part. And uh, this uh, endomorphism is uh, uh, does not depend on the uh, choice of the uh, local parameter Z equal Ti. Uh, the residue is uh, independent of the uh, residues uh, of local parameter. So anyway, this is the time defined as a uh, uh, endomorphism of the fiber at the evil TI. This is this is homomorphism. So then, so the uh, most uh, one of the very important uh, uh, invariant for the uh, uh, connection and the phi uh, Higgs bundle Higgs field is uh, eigenvalues of these uh, or residue matrices and. Uh, uh, for simplicity, we give an uh, order from uh, for each uh, eigenvar. We we put the, uh, the order by hand, uh, like this. So we started from the zero to r minus one. 
So because our, our Inaba likes to start from zero, uh, maybe maybe he likes India. That's uh, okay. So that anyway, so we have uh, this uh, R number of the complex uh, complex values at each i, and then we uh, totally have uh, n times R numbers of the eigenvalues, uh, eigenvalues set of elements. And the totality I will give you, I will denote by the board new. So these, uh, these uh, complex numbers, a set of complex numbers, is not, that, uh, are not independent because we have a so famous, uh, we have a f famous Fuchs relation. We c wait, yes. Pardon? Small r is the rank, rank of the vector bundles. So you, you have a vector bundle. The vector bundle has a rank. So the uh, dimension of the fiber. Yes, that is rank. OK? It's OK? So, or, so this is R by R matrices. So you have uh, R uh, eigenvalues. OK? And we, we put the order by hand. Eh? Not, not uh, naturally defined, but uh, we put the by hand. Order by hand. So. Uh, then uh, this is not uh, in the, uh, independent. Uh, if you take uh, all sum, uh, uh, if you take a sum of all uh, eigenvalues, so it must be equal to the minus lambda of the degree e. So degree e is uh, I denoted by d, so the sum integer. So this is our. You have uh, this kind of a linear relation, okay? And you can prove by this. You can prove this by uh, usual uh, residue calculus. And of course, if lambda is zero, so you have uh, this uh, uh, relation. So, and uh, it is known that this is uh, the only uh, condition for the, uh, for the residues. Okay. So then uh, we, we put uh, our uh, we can define the space of local exponents of the lambda connections, which is a set of the uh, n times r, n, n times r uh, number, complex number, with this condition. So uh, we put the rank with r and uh, the degree is d, and n is the number of the single point, lambda is a lambda connection lambda. So, and uh, the, for the Hick, Hick's case, uh, lambda should be uh, zero or uh, Degree might be zero, the opposite, the same. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so these. So, if you have a connection, you have uh, this uh, new. Uh, of course, I I put the order at by at the local singularity. But anyway, you have uh, some. If you have uh, some connection, lambda connection, you have uh, some. Uh, new, which is called the local exponent, okay, and that is depend on the rank r and the degree d and the point n, uh, and then our, but then our, uh, I'd like to ex uh, define the uh, genericity for the local exponents, because in order to uh, make a construct the modular spaces of the lambda connection with the are fixed uh, are local exponents. Uh, generic uh, genericity is very uh, helps to uh, construct the modular spaces. It's, so I mean that uh, if the new is generic, you can or you can easily construct the modular spaces. But uh, uh, if new is special, uh, which is defined as for here. Uh, the construction of the modular space is rather difficult, and uh, if you have a bad construction, you may have uh, singularities of the modular spaces. So uh, that is one is uh, new is called resonant if for some i and uh, j1, j1 and j, j, not j2, uh, this uh, the difference of the two eigenvalues uh, in the, put in uh, here. So if lambda is one. So this means that this is a half integer, okay. Uh, and of course, if this is uh, the same, so this is zero, then it is our, uh, it is our, our resonant. So if you have a, 
multiplicity of the uh, local ex uh, eigenvalues at the some uh, less, uh, residue matrices, you have some uh, uh, special, uh, it's called a resonant. And also other condition is called uh, uh, reducible. Uh, if there exists a subset of the new prime, this is new prime of new, and this is a little bit complicated, but for each i, the number of the new i j prime is in new prime is fixed number k, and take a, a, take a sum. So then that, uh, this sum is in the lambda time z, in the, something like this. So this, what, what does it mean? That, uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are considering the following situation. If, if you have a uh, Ian Nabra, if you have a sub-bundle with, uh, which, is fax, uh, which has a, a, a stabilized by the nabra, nabra f is in the f something. So then the, this f nabra are become the sub-connection of e nabra. So then uh, this f nabra are also satisfy the Fuchs relation. And uh, essentially, this uh, condition, uh, possibility of the reducibility, uh, uh, have a, uh, a possibility of the, this kind of thing. So, or uh, if and uh, if new is not reducible, we call the new is called irreducible. And uh, then, then if new is new is irreducible, so there are no there are no uh, Hooke's relation like this uh, uh, in the uh, sub bundle. So this means that uh, E number has no uh, sub connection at all. So in this case, uh, the uh, construction of the module space is rather easy, okay. And uh, in, uh, in former work, uh, uh, people are new is uh, are irreducible. So new is generic. So then uh, there are no uh, sub connections at all. So then uh, it's rather easy to construct the module spaces. But anyway, we have a, such a kind of the uh, generosity of local exponent. On the other hand, uh, new is our special. The definition of the new is new is uh, special. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do is uh, to construct a modular space of the E number lambda connection. Okay. But uh, uh, and uh, if new is uh, not is special, uh, is not special. So it's, uh, new is generic. Uh, it is rather easy to construct the modular spaces. But if uh, uh, for special new to construct the uh, modular spaces of E Nabra or uh, for special new, we would like to uh, construct or we would like to have. Uh, uh, some uh, technique of algebraic geometry, which is called uh, the geometric invariant theory of the manhole. Okay, and then our uh, then our uh, the our uh, uh, the strategy of the constructor module spaces of the some uh, uh, geometric object is uh, quite simple. Just uh, uh, just to take the uh, only the good object. And to construct the module space, it's just uh, think about a uh, uh, good object. So in order to uh, have, a, in order to define the good object, you have some measure. Okay. Then uh, uh, if you don't have uh, uh, this uh, singular singular connection, you just take uh, so called the, the or among the, uh, the uh, stability conditions and the. the, uh, the Degree of E uh, modeled out by the rank, yeah, rank. So that is our uh, some measures of the uh, goodness of the. But then uh, for the uh, singular connection or KSI parabolic bundle, uh, you need uh, some uh, extra data, and which is uh, called uh, KSI parabolic structure of the this one LI star. So E, e lambda is a, a lambda connection, and E LI star. Is uh, just uh, our filtration of the uh, fiber at the TI, ETI. This is start by L0i and L1i and decreasing filtration 
and such is uh, uh, such that uh, the each quotient is the dimension one. So this means that uh, this is a full flag of the uh, vector, uh, this vector spaces. Uh, this is the uh, dimension R uh, vector spaces. And also that this condition, it's, uh, if you apply the residue TI number minus eigenvalue nu j i identity, so LJ, if you apply this subspace, it goes one step far, uh, deeper, this one. So this means that the, uh, essentially the LJ i over LJ plus LJ LIJ plus one is uh, essentially you gives you the uh, eigenvectors of the uh, residue matrices with eigenvalues nu j i. Okay, so then this filtration gives you the sum or, or basis for the uh, for the uh, ETI uh, whose residue. Uh, this part is uh, some kind of the upper triangular matrix it with the or ordered eigenvalues nu j i zero something like this. Okay, so okay, so so you have uh, some uh, uh, extra data about the uh, at the uh, uh, this filtration of the eigenvalues and uh, at the TI. So the totality of the logarithm connection and this uh, filtration uh, give, is called a new parabolic connection of rank R and theta degree D on C. And also uh, here I will go to the uh, what? No. What's, what the same simple? No, no, no. Uh, they they have some more multiplicity and also the some more Jordan, Jordan home might be possible. Yeah, that is very important point. Yes. So, uh, so if their all eigenvalues are different, uh, distinct at the, or for uh, at the i, so it is very easy to define this uh, filtration. But uh, uh, just to think about uh, uh, just a case of this new ti number is uh, completely zero matrices. So this, this means that the uh, eigenvalues are all zero. And in this case, you can allow the uh, all uh, filtration. So that gives you the uh, flag variety appears. And in, the, in such a uh, point, uh, you may have some singularity if you construct a uh, naive way. So this gives you the, uh, some resolution singularity of the, by using this uh, geometric data. Yes. So to rescue the singularity of the uh, but but the situation, you uh, this uh, our data is really needed for that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and for the case hyperbolic bundles, I, I will put the, uh, the uh, same things. So E. And the LI star is a case of parabolic bundles of rank R and degree D on C. So this is just a vector bundle of rank R and degree D. And uh, uh, LI star is just a full flag of this one. There are no relation of the uh, number. But usually uh, we are thinking about uh, parabolic case of bundles of this one. And the modular space of uh, this, uh, these are, are, are Studied by the many uh, Indian mathematicians. I think. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a really important. But maybe uh, parabolicity, uh, you need some more the weight for that. Yeah. But maybe we should uh, say the new kind of parabolic structure, but too, it's too long. So, yes, that's, that's allowed. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so then, our, our, so let let us uh, give give you the our, uh, first or the stability conditions the case hyperbolic bundles. Okay, it's it, it, it's easier. So now uh, you consider just a uh, vector bundle and uh, uh, just a flag on the, this one at the, at each single point. So, uh, in order to define uh, uh, some good measures uh, that is called stability, uh, we need uh, our, uh, 
we fix a sequence, a sequence of rational numbers called weight alpha, like this. So at each point i, the number should be like this, between 0 to 1, and uh, with some uh, uh, genericity condition like this. So when, anyway, this is so uh, a pair of weight alpha and the KSI parabolic bundles E is called a uh, parabolic bundle. Okay, now, <laughs> so the KSI parabolic bundle plus uh, this uh, weight is called a parabolic structure. Okay, that is, that is usual definition, I think. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, if you have a KSI parabolic bundle on C, so for any uh, subvector bundle f on f in E, we define the integer length f i by using the, uh, this uh, filtration in the, in E. Okay. Yes. Wait. <laughs> it, uh, it, it's rather uh, difficult. There is some reason, and uh, maybe I, is, I think that there is some uh, introducing the good metrics on the KSI public bundle, and uh, the, you have some orders of the uh, in, increment of the uh, uh, length. So that is something like a weight. But uh, this, uh, in this case, I just uh, uh, take uh, uh, any uh, real number between zero and one. I need a sequence of the this one, rational number. Uh, but but you can you can use, but uh, you you can uh, always uh, uh, how I say uh, take our rational numbers for simplicity. Yeah. yeah, for just for the technical reason. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then uh, uh, I will put uh, our good measures of the our. Uh, E, uh, this is case uh, parabolic bundle with the uh, weight, and then uh, uh, case a parabolic bundle is called uh, alpha stable or alpha stable, semi stable, or the uh, pair of the E and uh, uh, this case bundle and alpha is uh, just a stable. Mean that uh, for any proper sub vector bundles, f, so this is not, uh, not zero and this is not equal to f. So for any f, uh, this uh, uh, new measure uh, adjusted by the uh, usual uh, measure by vector bundle with this uh, part. Uh, adjusted by this part. So, uh, so for any proper sub vector bundle, uh, this is or uh, strictly less than this uh, uh, measure. And if you allow the uh, equal, uh, this is called alpha semi-stable. Okay. It's okay. Okay, so now there we have a good uh, uh, measure to, dist uh, to, uh, to have a good uh, geometric object. Okay. And uh, for the alpha stable new parabolic connection case, is, uh, you can just uh, change the definition uh, by taking the uh, f is uh, our sub connection not the uh, bundle so the, the you have a proper sub vector bundle uh, which is uh, stable stabilized by the nabra so that you have a e nabra is uh, our sub connection so just you can just uh, or take take the, uh, this uh, inequality uh, for the sub connections so that gives you the uh, good measures of the uh, Alpha stable uh, 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 new new parabolic connections, and uh, alpha stability is defined like this. Okay, and also the you you also have a new parabolic Higgs bundle cases. You you can define the alpha stable new parabolic a uh, new parabolic Higgs bundle like this. We can. Yes. Yes. The, uh, this is our usual one plus some our extra part, okay? The, the idea is very simple, this part. Yes, now we have a good uh, stability condition for the uh, KSA parabolic bundle and also the new parabolic connection. 
So then uh, uh, we can define the uh, homogeneous spaces of alpha stable parabolic connection and alpha stable parabolic Higgs bundle, and also the alpha stable uh, KSI parabolic bundle. Okay. So the uh, M alpha CT nu R and D is just a, a set of isomorphism class of the, this uh, new lambda, uh, sorry, sorry uh, new, new connections. So lambda is one case, it's sorry. This, this is a set, uh, just a isom set of isomorphic classes. This is, a, this is a, a modular spaces. And for also the, uh, for the new is uh, in the here, uh, you can define the uh, isomorphic class of the uh, new parabolic Higgs bundles, like this. Alpha, uh, sorry, alpha stable, alpha stable or new parabolic Higgs bundle. And also you can define the alpha stable KSI parabolic bundle of the rank R and rank uh, D, like this. Okay. And the uh, existence of uh, algebraic modular space of alpha stable new parabolic connection will, will be given by the uh, Inaba's talk next to the lecture. So he's uh, the expert of that. <laughs> uh, he's the best student of the Professor Mariama uh, in the uh, construction of the modular space. And uh, uh, we, uh, Inaba Iwasaki Saito, uh, and also the Inaba, it, uh, gives you the, our, uh, this uh, existence terms. So uh, MGN tilde is a little bit uh, covering of MGN, uh, such that uh, our, you have a uh, uh, universal family of the uh, curves and uh, points on that. Usually, MGN, on, on MGN, you don't have the universal family of the CNT, but if you have a, a covering, uh, you take a, such a kind of, of the uh, <coughs> uh, universal family of the curve and the point. And uh, it, it, here is the space of the uh, local exponent. So over these spaces, you have a relatively fine modulus sch scheme of the uh, alpha stable uh, new parabolic uh, alpha stable new public connection, and then uh, or if you t uh, fix a C and T and new, so the fiber is just uh, uh, this uh, uh, modular spaces, this modular spaces, and uh, uh, what we prove that uh, this is pi is uh, of uh, the uh, morphism from the, this uh, uh, KSI project variety to this uh, KSI project variety, and the map is smooth and also the KSI project. So that means that the fiber, <coughs> each, each fiber is a smooth KSI project algebraic scheme. And in most cases, it is irreducible, and in most cases, it's a variety. So. And dimension is equal to the 2 times R squared G minus 1 plus NR R minus 1 plus 2. And you can easily uh, see that this is even number. So you have uh, uh, the half of this is give, uh, defined as a large n. And yes. And uh, the reason why this is an even number, that this uh, modular spaces have a, a nice uh, uh, algebraic simplex. Okay. Okay. And also there are similar uh, construction for alpha stable new parabolic Higgs bundle is uh, are given by the uh, former result by the Bodin and Yokogawa. That is uh, also the given by the KD pairs like this. And also the, uh, uh, the dimension is the same. And, so. and the, the reason why the dimension is the same is just uh, you, you are, you are you have a uh, so-called uh, the non abelian host theory, uh, uh, which will be explained by the, uh, Professor Londonagi. I think <laughs> it is, uh, you have a uh, smooth deformation between the Higgs bundles and uh, our, uh, the connection, and that is given by the lambda deformation. Okay. And the non abelian host theory uh, says more about uh, uh, Maybe there are some met metrics or something like that. And this also have uh, admit natural algebraic simplex structure. Okay. And I will give you the uh, 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 most simple non-trivial example. 
that <laughs> yes. And uh, the same, our example is a uh, dimension two. So not zero. <laughs> dimension two cases. This is the most simple our uh, cases, non-trivial case. The case is given by the are uh, related to the Pandev six equations case. Okay, and take our uh, p1 c equal p1 and rank equal two. The number of singular point is four. Degree is minus one. By some reason, uh, and uh, degree can be easily uh, changed by the so-called elementary transformation. But uh, for simplicity, d, d equal one is very mostly easy to construct. And take a, a new, generic new. So then uh, uh, we can normalize uh, our point t, t1 to t, to t3, t4 in, other, uh, in this uh, way. And uh, uh, in some sense, we, we can have our, uh, some uh, normalization of the determinant bundle. And then that gives you the, our eigenvalues is given by plus minus nu1 at the t1. Uh, plus minus nu2 at the t, uh, t2, plus minus nu3 at the t3. And by the Fuchs relation, we, don't ha we have uh, all sum should be the minus minus 1, which is 1. So the 1 at the point four, uh, t4, you have the eigenvalue, the nu4, and the 1 minus nu4. And you can, you can do like this. Okay. So let's fix it like this. So essentially, we have. Uh, new 1, new 2, new 3, new 4, uh, four, four parameters here, because we have, uh, we fix the determinant bundle like this. So then uh, our modular spaces uh, become uh, the algebraic surfaces. So dimension can be uh, calculated by the, like this. So this is 2. So this is algebraic surfaces. And uh, M MT new has a nice uh, compactation, ST new. Uh, which is a compactation of the ST, uh, MT nu, and the ST nu is uh, given by the eight-point borrow-up of the uh, Hilbert surface of sigma two, which is uh, our loose surface uh, of the degree minus two. So you, you have a P one, and you have a degree two bundle, and uh, at the infinity you have a, a minus two section. And uh, what uh, you have to add is uh, this uh, 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 infinite section, and uh, you blow up eight point, and and this uh, uh, the location of the blowing up is really depend on the this uh, uh, local eigenvalue uh, local exponent, and new one minus new one something like this. But you, you have uh, some overall constant here, and the here is the u four and one minus new four. You blow up eight point. So then uh, you have a uh, infinite section plus four uh, proper transform of the, this uh, fiber. And all uh, this, uh, uh, these are the all uh, the rational, uh, P1, P1 with uh, self-intersection number minus two. So ordinarily this is minus two. And uh, ordinarily, this had uh, degree zero, but if you blow up by two, uh, two points, then our uh, self intersection degrees by two. So this is minus two. And uh, uh, the, the blowing up of sigma two by eight points, and then deleting the, uh, these uh, infinite section and the proper transform of this uh, gives you the M MT new. So b this is very uh, concrete or description of the modular spaces, okay? And what is uh, very nice is an uh, uh, anti-canonical divider of the, this uh, st nu uh, is just a uh, two time y0 plus uh, y, y1, y2, y3, y4. So this means that uh, on the, this uh, uh, st nu, you have a metamorphic two home whose pores divider are given by the two times this and this, uh, one times this and this. So if you delete uh, these uh, five curves, so there are, there are no pores, and you have uh, uh, rational two homes, uh, no pores, and that gives you the symplectic home on this complement. So that's this one.
So, and this, uh, the, the complement MT nu appears as a so-called uh, space of initial conditions for the Pandora 6 equations. And uh, uh, you can prove that uh, our, in the complement, there are no uh, regular algebraic function uh, except the constant. So I mean that uh, our, the algebraic, algebraic function MT nu on MT nu is just a constant. Okay, so how can you prove <laughs> that? So the next thing is uh, uh, related to the non abelian host theory. So that just to think about the case of the Higgs bundle cases in the same situation. So then in this case, the difference is uh, just uh, uh, this local exponent. Because uh, we have our Hooke's relation is all sum is uh, zero. So you can arrange the, our local exponent like this. So, but the situation is com com essentially the same. You blow up eight point here, and the, but the only difference is nu four and minus nu four here. And uh, or you have a nice compactation, and uh, M, uh, the Moja space is just a complement of the anti canonical divisor. The same, same. Now, what the difference? Why? Yes, uh, Y0 is the uh, infinite section of the Hilbert surface of degree 2, the full self intersection is minus 2 at the P1. <coughs> you, you didn't touch it. You have a four, thing, a four fibers at the T1, T2, T3, T4. At each point, uh, at each fiber, you have a boring up point corresponding to new one and minus new one, something like this. The boring up. So the Y1 is just a proper transform the, of the fiber. And originally, the Y1, uh, the fiber has a self intersection zero because it moves. But now you blow up uh, two times, the, the self intersection becomes minus two. And the same thing. And I, I told you that, uh, that this, there is a uh, metamorphic two homes on this uh, compact spaces uh, with the singularity poles that are given like this. Uh, why, why, why is just uh, this, this one? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So anti canonical divide. Why is the union of this one? Yes, and uh, just uh, forget the uh, multiple here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, again, you have a nice simple structure here. So this is a very simple uh, construction. And you have a nice vibration of the, this one. And uh, this, this, this is uh, very nice. OK. OK, I, uh, I have 30 minutes more. Hi, OK. OK, uh, let, let, me, uh, let me tell you about our uh, Tangent spaces of the uh, Mojave spaces of like that. So take a, a, a new parabolic connection or the new parabolic kick bundle like this. And consider the uh, uh, F0 in, uh, on, the, on the curve C, uh, which is a sub, uh, sub uh, C of the endomorphism of E. And the first section uh, satisfies these conditions. So S. Uh, at the TI is uh, the preserved uh, uh, <coughs> filtration. And F1 is uh, our uh, subband of the end E tensor to omega 1 CDT, and the food section satisfy this condition. So this is a little bit uh, our, uh, the stronger, so the, this filtration, the density of this. Uh, uh, this one is going going to the uh, one step lower than this one. Okay. So then uh, you you take you define you can define the Jesus two sieves on C, and uh, then then you have our, our connection on this uh, from F zero to F one, uh, which is given by the, our this one. 
So if you take a, a local section of S, S on here, so you take a, a S times uh, multiply S and Nabla, and he minus S times Nabla. So this gives you the uh, connection uh, from uh, this F0 to F1. Oh, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> so then, uh, our, one can prove that uh, our, you, you, if you consider the, our point X in M, uh, you, you have a point here. So then, uh, our, you can consider the, our hypercohomology of this uh, our connection. Okay. So then, uh, our Tangent space of the uh, uh, sorry Zariski tangent space of the uh, M at X is just uh, isomorphic to the H one H one of this uh, complex. Okay, and also the uh, uh, Zariski tangent space of the uh, X is uh, just uh, or uh, mean that uh, uh, it is a set of the first order deformation of the X. Uh, so then uh, uh, there is uh, some obstruction in the second order, but uh, the obstruction arises in the, this H2 of F dot. And uh, if X, this point is stable, so this space is zero. So it means that there are obstruction bunches, so you can extend it to the uh, second order, and uh, you can go to the further, further. So, and uh, it is, uh, th this shows that uh, our at this point x, uh, it is smooth, so that uh, and also the real tangent space is isomorphic to this h1 f dot. Okay, so this is our deformation theory of the uh, new power reconnection, and then uh, this or uh, h1 f dot, the uh, uh, tangent space of the uh, uh, m at the x, have uh, our Nice exact sequence by using a Lurey uh, spectral sequence. It goes to H1 F0, and the kernel is H0 F1, maps to it, and also the this and uh, this. And uh, here, H1 F0 is a, a set of uh, infinitesimal deformation of the KSI parabolic bundle, and H0 F1 is a uh, the space of endomorphism of the valued Merrimack van uh, preserving L. Okay. So, or you have a modular space of the uh, M, and this is the modular space of the k side parabolic bundle, a tangent space of the k side parabolic bundle, and the fiber is uh, this uh, space. Okay. And uh, uh, by some uh, uh, explicit calculation, uh, you, you can uh, show like this. And this gives you the, or this space H1 F0 is cell dual to the H0 F1. So there are, if you take a, a dual uh, exact sequence like this, and uh, uh, you have a uh, total, uh, the center H1 F dot is also isomorphic to H1 F dot dual. dual. Uh, there is space of H and F dot. So uh, this means that uh, you have uh, non-degenerate uh, uh, simplectic homomorphism to each uh, tangent spaces. So this proves that uh, our locally you have a uh, simplex structure. But uh, now you have a global uh, one uh, simplex structure on M, but it, it is rather difficult to prove that it is decrows. Okay. <laughs> But then uh, Inaba uh, succeeded to that uh, uh, prove that it is decrossed. So that you have a nice uh, non-degenerate simplex two homes on the uh, and on M. Okay. Okay. Now I will uh, uh, I will go to the uh, relation to the geometry and grand, and uh, for that. Uh, uh, I will uh, think about more about the modular space of parabolic bundle, maybe the k type parabolic bundle. Okay, let's consider the uh, modular stack of the k type uh, parabolic bundle, EL. 
of rank R and degree D over CT. Okay. So that this is the modular stack. And it, it, it's essentially the modular stack is just you, you consider the uh, geometric object plus the automorphism of that. Then our, this uh, EL is called, the, this case, if you have a case parallel bundle, EL is called simple if H0 of CF0 is equals to C. Uh, well, well, what? Wait, wait, wait. H0, CF0, this is where it's. Uh, Here it is equal to C. So this means that this is equal. To, so then uh, you have a nice exact sequence like this. And uh, in here, here is uh, decomposable if there exist, uh, uh, sorry, if exist uh, case hyperbolic bundles, F1, L1, and F2, L2, such that uh, this is uh, decomposed like this after renumbering of the filtration. And here is in the composer if it, it is not the composer. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. It, uh, then uh, M alpha CT new RD is a modular stack of alpha 7 connection in double L with a given invariance. Okay. For simplicity, uh, we pr propose the following. The local ex exponent nu is generic, so that all E nabla L is irreducible. So, uh, yeah. Ah, the uh, construction of the modular spaces uh, for all nu, so that, that is the most uh, important part of our theorem. But for simplicity, <laughs> Now, uh, new is uh, generic, uh, which means that uh, for all new parabolic connection is uh, irreducible. Okay, so that is uh, that uh, makes the, uh, the discussion very simple. Then, uh, for this is a modular stack, so uh, you have a coarse modular spaces, uh, which is our this Roman MM, and this is our uh, GM GM job. Like this. So then, uh, in the stack level, you have uh, forget natural stack, uh, natural forgetful morphism stacks. Just E nabla L goes to the E L. So just forget nabla. Okay. And uh, at a good point of PRD, uh, the fiber is just a, a space of the nabla. And the uh, infinitesimal version of that is uh, the so this is uh, if it, uh, this is simple and this is also one C so that is uh, H1F dot is split into the H1F0 and H0F1 and this is uh, our, uh, the formation space of the Kessel bundle and the fiber is given by the global section of the uh, homomorphic uh, metamorphic one home which preserves our filtration. So or you have a nice spaces, but then uh, the problem is uh, our, uh, it, it is rather difficult to determine the image of the, this map. Yes. So the image of this map, we, we, we define the PDR flat. Flat means that our case bundle with some connection. Okay. And this is our, Substack of the PRD, <clears throat> and then our, our by some argument with our Arinkin Rishenko, you can show that if EL is simple, EL is uh, flat. <laughs> then our so. This means that if we write our bunch of stack of the simple case, I product bundle, so then a PRSD is in a PR uh, flat. Then for C equal P1 and R equal 2 and D equal 0, this is the case of the uh, rank 2, uh, uh, dimension 2 cases. I link in the and show that uh, our these uh, simpleness and undecomposedness in the flatness is uh, our same. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, 
this is a, a flat. Bar, bar is flat. So in this case, uh, you have uh, this uh, without. And then uh, uh, you have uh, nice uh, uh, coarse modular spaces. Just uh, this is a GM torsor structure. And this is a uh, one dimensional, uh, in this case, this is a one dimensional uh, algebraic scheme. Then now our, this uh, uh, is a, a modular spaces of the K side parabolic bundle with the flat structure. And then our, this is a, becomes a scheme, but it may be non, non separated scheme. Okay, what it? And we have a commutative diagram like this. Oh, just please forget this is there. And I will explain about the former case, the cosmogy for the C equal P1 and equal 4 pandemic 6 case. So in this case, uh, and <laughs> minus one, and it's the same at zero. Then there are P2 flat, uh, P2S, P2, uh, and, and the composer is the same. And just to take uh, P, this is the cost moduli. And you have a natural map from the cost moduli of the new parabolic connection. This is a two dimensional, and this is one dimensional. And uh, what is uh, strange is uh, P is a non separated scheme obtained by two copies of P1 identifying at the P1 minus T1, T4. There are two points, ti plus minus on p. And uh, if you look at our, our manhole uh, uh, text of the algebraic geometry, you have a scheme, one dimension scheme with our unseparated point like this. So, uh, You have this embedding, but you, 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 you take uh, two copies of P1. And just identifying these uh, outside. So you have uh, extra. So you have uh, this kind of uh, uh, schemes, just uh, uh, P is, uh, just uh, uh, this is. So at, the, at this point, so you, you, have, uh, uh, you have some uh, uh, sequence of points uh, converging to the T1. So you have uh, two. Uh, Two uh <laughs> 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 A limit. Two you have two limits here. So that is uh, mean that means that there are non separatedness. So separatedness means that just uh, you have uh, just one uh, limit. Yes. In the algebraic geometry. But uh, in this case the modular spaces so okay, so, uh cos modular space of the K Z bundle. P is non-separated. And also, uh, I, I should remind you that if you have allowed the uh, alpha stability, all uh, cosmological steps, alpha stable k parallel bundle, it is uh, are se separated and smooth. So, uh, in some sense, uh, uh, this means that uh, even if you have uh, alpha stable parabolic bundle, the uh, underlying the uh, k sai parabolic bundle might May be uh, may be uh, alpha not alpha step. Okay. <laughs> so such a kind of objective. So the P is uh, like that. Oh, okay. So this kind of uh, phenomena always happened in the case of the uh, from the modular space of a new new parabolic connection to the uh, modular space of the parabolic case hyperbolic bundles, and uh, in dimension ah. Uh, 
uh, in the further case, if c equals p1 and t is five points, uh, then uh, I, Frank Lore and I described the uh, p flat as follows. So p is a two-dimensional scheme, uh, which has a, a seven chart. And uh, v is a, a p2. And then there, are, there is a, a natural embedding of the P1 into the conics of the P2, degree 2 uh, curve here. And uh, uh, maybe I should. <laughs> this is P2. So P1 can be embedded into the, or some uh, degree 2 curve. Then you have a five point. Okay. So uh, this is V. Then you blow up is uh, five point. So the uh, degree of uh, delta is uh, uh, self-intersection of delta is uh, four, so uh, this become also the minus one. Self-intersection is minus one. And also, you have uh, if you have a line here passing through t one, t two, so uh, these, these are like this, and this is also become the minus one curve. Okay. And this uh, growing up for five points, it's a V hat. Okay. And then uh, uh, in, in V hat, you can uh, you can uh, find a set a five set of uh, the. This distinct five minus one cup, and you can blow down the five points. So all of this is P1, a P2. So this V and V hat is uh, uh, isomorphic outside of this point and this one. So. This is isomorphic uh, the, the, by the definition of growing up. So uh, what I mean that uh, you can patch the V hat and V and other things by uh, by using the, this uh, birational map. Okay, like uh, like this case. Yeah, this is uh, blow, blow down. This is blow down. Yes, and so uh, this is the original growing down, you see. But there is another set of the, uh, there are a, a, lot, a lot of minus one curve. So you, you have a totally six way to uh, contract the five minus one curve. Yeah, no, no. Uh, this is this V hat is a, a boring of the five points, and it, it is called a degree uh, a degree four uh, Delpin surface. And, and for the Delpin surface, there is a six way to boring down to the uh, to P two. Different. You 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 can remember. Yeah, you 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 should believe me. Okay, and. Uh, so then you, you patch the, this, uh, uh, these seven uh, projective variety by using this uh, one. So actually, around, around here and here, you have some non-separatedness. Okay.
Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> now, <laughs> I will give you a very little about our geometry Langlands associated to the, our, our former example. Uh, we consider the, our modular space of the rank two bundles on P1 four point and with the isomorphism of the, uh, the, the determinant should be fixed. So uh, then uh, M, M is the modular stack of E number I L and P is the modular space of the undercomposer rank two bundles like this. And then uh, on P, uh, we put some uh, uh, divider coefficient with C uh, with respect to the uh, new I, local expand, like this. And uh, the D nu is a, a T, a twisted differential operator ring corresponding to the divider of nu. Then, then uh, for each point and M, the modular space of the point, so then our e, e nu is the D nu module defined by the, uh, this one on, uh, on, uh, on P. And uh, this is J. So you have a, you have a E here, and the, this is, there is a number here, and we have a, Number uh, the module structure here. So you just extended this in, in, you into here to uh, to this point, eight point. But the the uh, structure should be uh, uh, some uh, are twisted different uh, uh, twisted differential operator modules. Okay. So then are uh, this uh, uh, the new module is. Uh, denoted by the M nu, but if you are very the, uh, this uh, connection on M, you have a uh, Z nu, so you, have, you can obtain the M family of the D nu module on P. Okay, <laughs> it is a bit, bit. And the P has an uh, isomorphism of it, like that, and that's a changing the, uh, these two points. I'm sorry. <laughs> M, M, is the, M is a new two job. job. So uh, the derived category of the uh, case coherent module on M uh, naturally decomposed as a uh, plus or minus, and such that uh, F DQC uh, M plus minus, if one, only if there are mu two act on minus one act on the uh, plus minus one on uh, the cohomology group. But anyway. So you have uh, M cross P, and you have a map to M, and you have a P2. Then you have a uh, Z nu here, which is a uh, M family of the D nu uh, modules on P. So then our, our, our ranking showed that the following term around 2001. So then uh, he defined the functor from the DQCM minus to the uh, derived category of the D new modules on P uh, by using this one. So just to prove back the uh, case coherent module F to here, the so tensor with the uh, uh, Z new, that gives you the uh, D new module. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. tensor with here. So take our uh, direct image here around here. So that gives you the our, our D new modules like this. So this is our uh, very uh, similar ideas of the Huri Mukai transform. And uh, he showed that this gives you the equivalence between the uh, disk uh, category and uh, this derived category, uh, this derived category and this derived category. And the inverse functor is given by the, this one. I'm, uh, <laughs> Uh, then you, you, you can see the, uh, his, his paper to give here. And uh, most uh, 
uh, essential part of this uh, part is uh, some uh, uh, orthogonal property of this uh, kernel shape, as usual. And it is rather uh, technical. But uh, then uh, this is really a uh, nice result. And uh, I hope that this uh, 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 Arinkin result can be extended to further uh, cases. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. For So can these uh, fairly explicit descriptions of these moduli spaces that you have, can they be used to prove the P equals W conjecture? And can these explicit descriptions of uh, the moduli spaces that you, that you had in the talk, can they be used to prove the P equals W conjecture in some examples? Uh, the, uh, the explicit description for M or P? Uh, M. M. Yeah. Uh, yes, now uh, we are, uh, we are, uh, the, uh, Writing the paper with uh, Cedar support in the Cedar support in uh, Budapest about uh, or a good coordinate for the M, and that gives you the very uh, explicit geometry of the some rule surface of a curve, and also Hilbert scheme, of that. and that gives you the some uh, directly open part of the M. To show the uh, orthogonality of the coordinate uh, bundles, uh, it might sometimes it is enough to uh, work on that. And by using the, some kind of explicit geometry, I, I hope we hope for that. Sorry, my PhD student might say something like that. Uh, I hope that uh, we have uh, orthogonality of that. And mo most of this we are doing. Yeah, my question was about the P equals W conjecture. Ah, P equals W conjecture. Yeah. Uh, that's a different story, but uh, yes. Yeah, and, uh, one of my uh, former postdocs are uh, working on the P equals W conjecture, and in the case of the um, explicit cases. And I, I think he checked some part of that. So if we can go back to the case of P1 was four points, you said that the moduli space is non-separated and th th there are four points where you have a doubling. Can you show a local picture? Can you sort of ma make it plausible why? W what are the two bundles corresponding to those two points and what are the two limits? Uh, <laughs> so you, you mean that there are... Uh, what, what do you mean? You had this very p pretty picture that the moduli space was P1 was four points doubled, yes, so it's not separated. So the case of parabolic bundle, yes, yes. Can you just say what, can you describe what those two points are in terms of bundles and what are the limits? Here. Yeah. You mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, essentially, <laughs> e of, say, e, e of T1, you have uh, one is a one dimension spaces for the uh, new one uh, eigen eigen spaces, but then uh, our in the and the modular spaces of the uh, our uh, parabolic bundles, you have uh, two point here. And that, that's corresponding to the, or, yeah, in, in some sense, <laughs> the, these L1 and uh, L1 prime uh, cannot be uh, distinct in, uh, in this way. So one is corresponding, T1 plus is corresponding to the L1 corresponding new one eigenvalues, and the L1 prime corresponding minus new one. 
point, <laughs> and that this one, and that uh, that cannot be uh, uh, distinguished in our. That is the reason I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, the, the, these two points are quite near in our usual uh, uh, scheme theoretic way. <laughs> and uh, like also same situation happened in here that uh, you have a you have a two uh, two limit in uh, that. Yeah. Uh, so following with the same question, so are these two points, non-separated points, uh, correspond to S-equivalent uh, bundles? S-equivalent bundles? Yes. <laughs> so, so they are strictly semi-stable, so, right? No. Uh, we, don't, we don't consider the uh, stability for KSI paragraph bundle, a uh, KSI paragraph bundle. But uh, you, you have... Uh, that corresponds to the new one eigenvalues. Minus new one eigenvalues. Oh, uh, then are our, the, these, uh, and all with, uh, with some uh, uh, connection. Okay. So then our, these uh, are, are the uh, stable in the uh, other band, uh, connection, new, new public connection. But if you forget this one, uh, the EL1, EL1 prime is uh, may, may, uh, not uh, st stable. Okay, so they could be unstable even, yeah. So also there are, these the, 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 the should be corresponding two points. So this is maybe a slightly more open-ended question. Do you have any thoughts on generalizing some of the general, I mean, some of the general theory you described? To ob Do you have any thoughts about um, extending some of the general theory you described to objects in the derived category instead of just single vector bundles, like uh, complexes? You mean that there are more space of the uh, derived categories? Yeah, like object, the, uh, objects in the derived category with some parabolic structure at, yeah. at uh, special uh, points. And please ask Inaba, that he's an expert. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't see any further hands, so let's thank the speaker again.